How did Oprah spend her Sunday? Why is Larry King excited about the World Cup? What does Ricky Carandang think about Congresswoman Annie Susano? Once upon a time, it was hard to get answers to these questions, but that's no longer the case in the age of Twitter. Tonight, we'll find out why Twitter is trending among journalists and celebrities and how it's changing news and entertainment 140 characters at a time. I'm Chacha Lazaro. Join me as we put the media in focus. Joining us are some of our Twitter friends, your Twitter friends, ANC anchor Ricky Carandang and TV host Bianca Gonzalez. We also have social media marketing consultant Carlo Ople. In keeping with our topic, we ask you to tweet your questions and comments for our guests at twitter.com slash ANC alerts. Welcome to Media in Focus and thank you for joining us, tweeters. Is that the right term? Tweeterers? You're a tweeter yourself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we're all tweeters here. Yeah. Ricky, you, it took you a long time to decide to join the Twitter band. What, what was your hesitation? Well, I'm on TV. I have a blog. Everybody has my phone number. I mean, <laughs> how exposed do you want to be to the public? <laughs> yeah. So I was resisting it because I figured it was just more work. Uh -huh. But it was a mandate from, from management that, that the news people be on Twitter. Oh, it was? It was, it was. I, or else I never would have done it. But you know, it's like, it's like a cell phone. Once you start, you yeah. can't stop. And so are you an addict? Are you a tweeter <laughs> addict? Is that the right term now? Are you a uh, tweet addict? Uh, I, I, I don't know if I can be considered an addict, but I, I do tend to tweet even more than, than I'm required to. Than so. usual, right? Oh, yeah. and mm -hmm. do, you, do you now enjoy it? I mean, you started with a lot of hesitation, but do you now enjoy it? Yeah, I, I like it. Uh, I like interacting with viewers, and I think it, it actually increases the viewership, you know, because now they can interact with mm -hmm. you in different ways. It's much more instant than, say, on the blog, right? Yeah. I mean, you right. have a blog, too. Yes. It, uh -huh. it takes a long time to compose, and people, you know, this one is, it's instant gratification. Yep. Instant <laughs> gratification. Is that the same for you, Bianca? Yes, it's so real time, actually. That's the difference of Twitter to, like, a blog or even, like, a Facebook account. Uh -huh. You ask a question and not even a minute has passed, someone's going to reply, and then, you know the answer right away. So did you in, expect in her case, to about ten thousand people? Right yeah, there. I know. So Bianca, did you expect to be named Twitter Queen with no, no, uh, wow. what, 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 what's her count now? What is it? One point five million? Did you say something like no, that? No, 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 no. One hundred. I promise I'll greet them. My hundred seventy thousand plus Twitter. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That yeah. must have grown exponentially for you. Yes, and I think it grew more. In the elections. Aside from the elections, I honestly think Twitter base grew more during the Ondoy tragedy. I think that was when people were RTing like where to bring supplies, where to get supplies, uh -huh, and that's uh -huh. when I think parang most Pinoy's logged on. Okay, Carlo, uh, somebody tweeted to me when I said the Twitter phenomenon, watch it tonight. He said, it's no longer a phenomenon, it's now a way of life. <laughs> it's a way of life. Do you agree? Well, um, if you take a look at the entire Philippine population and you compare the number, the number of Twitters, mm -hmm. it's not that, that, that big. Mm -hmm. yeah. But I think most of the people on Twitter are really the, how do you call this, the influential people. Mm -hmm. um, the people who are, I don't know, A, B, C1 and really call the shots. So mas nagiging, kumbaga, it, it's, it has bigger impacts. Uh, it has a bigger impact on everything else. So okay. What's this fascination with personalities, both in entertainment, or, well, media personalities in general? Is, is there a fascination? For um, them? Well, let, let's go first on the most. The people have the most number of Twitter followers, no? Like okay. what? Like we were we were talking about earlier. Yeah. Uh, in the Philippines, the yeah. there are two ways to get thousands upon thousands of followers on Twitter. It's either uh -huh. you're a celebrity, or you follow everyone. Because yeah. when you follow everyone, there's a tendency that they would uh, follow you. Yes. I think one of the reasons why a lot of people follow celebrities is other than the fact that they're on TV a lot. Um, traditional media seem to embrace. Uh, new media, and I mean that most of your shows here uh, um, are on uh, Twitter, mm -hmm. are f <coughs> marketing Twitter and Facebook like crazy. Yes, so the, yes. the you know the, the people who invented Facebook and Twitter should be paying you guys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but does it change the way news is now perceived, or how entertainment is now perceived? Ricky and Bianca, does, has it changed it? You want to start? I think it helps a lot. Eh? Like what Ricky said, parang it 
I think uh, it would also help the viewership because when you plug something mm -hmm. or like, kumbaga, it's good for each other. They can interact with you on Twitter mm -hmm. and from their comments, like I have to say, like for example, for Pinoy Big Brother, the show I work for, the, and or for example, Entertainment Live, they give a lot of suggestions or questions that we can work on and actually parang incorporate into the show. And yeah. feeling ko, it gives the viewers a sense of, I'm part of it. Parang, I was part of that. Yeah, so, it empowers them. Yeah, exactly. Yes, that's a perfect It word. empowers them. You, for, for you in news, Ricky, when you're doing the news, does it help you uh, shape your news more completely because you have public comment, you have public participation? Yes, and I follow my colleagues in ABS-CBN mm -hmm. News and mm -hmm. a few people from some of the other uh, news, news organizations. Mm. So you know what they're talking about. I mean, normally it comes out on Twitter mm. uh, before the report yes. can come out. So, so like we're doing the canvassing now. Yeah. Uh, somebody's asking, okay, what's the running total so far? We don't have it yet here in the studio, but Jackie Pascual or RG Cruz or Pia Honteveros, who are there, are tweeting it. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I don't have to bother my producer anymore. I just look at my phone and there you go. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. So in a sense, it, it, uh, uh, it transfers, delivers news much faster than the regular route. Yeah. yeah. Okay, now, you know, you, 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 there are arguments about accuracy, about uh, invasion of privacy. Are these issues that you've had to deal with? Accuracy, yes, because you get something yeah. from someone. Yeah. Um, again, it's there already mm -hmm. uh, to all for all their followers. Mm -hmm. You don't know how much it's been vetted mm -hmm. uh, or, or or how accurate it is. So so you you have to, I guess, um, take it with a grain of salt. You don't yeah. necessarily have to believe it right away. Yeah. Unless, of course, you know, I mean, there are certain people you follow because you know that they're not going to put something yeah. out there mm -hmm. unless they've yeah, checked. But what about the issue of privacy, you know? How, how personal can you get? I mean, I've seen some tweets where, you're from yourself, I'm eating whatever, this, this fantastic dish, <laughs> yeah, and, and you, you show me a picture, you know, yeah. or, or, or somebody tweeting about, I'm putting my son to sleep, or uh, I'm so tired, I'm just exhausted. What, what about that? I think those things are okay. It's purely for me uh, dependent on the person how much yeah. information you want to give like yeah. I know people like tonight I'm going to Mall of Asia and to for example Makati and to I wouldn't want to tweet mm. something like that because that's dangerous that's that's my me time for example but right. uh, yeah. yeah it depends on the user really how much information you want to give yeah. like you can just easily say I'm on the beach enjoying the sun, blah, blah, blah. But you don't say where, so that's not really invasion there, There's privacy. a DJ who always says where he is and asks people to meet him. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. radio yeah. DJ. Yeah. So. so it's also a good... It's, oh, well, it's, I think it's a, to pick it's a tool. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> okay, there's a comment here. Uh, one, one Twitter user who, whose name is the Alumni Diary, and she says Twitter is a way for public figures to express their views and opinions as people, as citizens, not necessarily yes. as media personalities, without worrying about ratings and readerships. Do you agree or uh, do, do Twitterers like yourself have to conform to certain standards because you do belong to a station that stands for certain things? Well, in news, I think there's certain standards that you still have to conform to. I cannot talk too much about my opinion mm -hmm. about political things. I think on Twitter you have a lot more leeway yeah. But there are still lines that you shouldn't cross. Yeah. Okay. People ask me who I voted for, uh -huh. um, and I'm not going to tell you that on Twitter. Right. right? <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah but, you know, Maybe off cam. Yeah. yeah. But that's not because Twitter. there's always <laughs> that. I mean, if people know who you voted for, it doesn't matter what mm -hmm. what uh, what uh, medium they used. I mean, mm -hmm. if they're perceived to be biased on TV, then and mm -hmm. you say that on Twitter, you, you'll mm -hmm. still be perceived to be biased. So yeah. there are certain things that you stay away from. Do you also observe certain rules, Bianca, about? what you can say and what you can't say on Twitter? Ako, I try to be responsible. I guess that's the best word. Like sometimes if you're really mad about something, you can't just say like mm. such vulgar words. You have yeah. to like find a nice way mm. to say it. But I think for people like me who work on TV, it's good to uh, have Twitter as an outlet because people know you as you as a person and not just as the person they watch on TV. Let me just ask Carlo, is there such a thing as Twitter etiquette? Well, for companies now, and especially for people who are very public, some corporations actually come up with social media policies for their company. Mm -hmm. So, and I don't think it's that bad to have something like that, especially when you're tweeting about stuff that's in, you know important to your company and to your business. So, I, I don't think it will also be bad uh, for some companies, for example, in the media, for the management to come up with something like that. It won't. St stifle everything but at least it would serve as a as guidelines, guidelines. No? Yeah. Yeah. me i think a basic etiquette is no cursing there. a lot no of cursing. people have done that and yeah. it's yeah that's a, i mean that that's a good that's a good